हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल बी के कार वर्ल्ड आई होप गाइज यू आर वेल मे गाड ब्लेस यू मोर सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन The current fourth generation Ford Expedition is nearing retirement and we believe it's high time it gets a revamp or maybe a whole new generation it's clear that Ford thinks the same since the 2025 Ford Expedition has just been caught on camera in full camouflage glam here's what it looks like and when it will be available to buy first spy photos show a beefier stance back in May 2023 Ford Authority new News site first spotted what appeared to be a 2025 Ford Expedition prototype out testing in the real world and that's when people started talking about a forthcoming mid-cycle refresh for Ford's full-size SUV in the first spy photos that surfaced last year the upcoming Expedition was heavily camouflaged in the front and rear that is probably where the most radical changes are along the size we could see a familiar body line while the structural shape of the siller looked pretty much the same the wheelbase or overall dimensions of the upcoming expedition are hard to determine just from a few pictures but we can guess the images show a somewhat taller and flatter front end and maybe a beefy overall stance giving out some serious Range Rover like vibes the dense camouflage might be misleading but we believe the 2025 expedition will be bigger and more muscular than the current generation the hips are a bit curvier and sexier as well this prediction aligns with the ongoing trend among car manufacturers to bolt Bulk up their SUVs a good example would be the latest redesign of the Honda Pilot redesigned headlights and liftgate judging by what we can peek through the heavy front camouflage it appears the new Expedition will sport some updated C-shaped LED headlights however that's just an educated guess as the housing doesn't reveal enough detail to confirm nevertheless the orange marker light is clearly placed higher up than on the current generation moreover by looking through the mesh section between the lights we suspect a larger grill in the back we can see a redesigned lift gate that extends closer to the ground for easier loading of cargo moreover the bumper revealed a built-in receiver hitch judging by the visible dirt underneath the prototype car looked like it had done some serious off-road testing although it was equipped with conventional street tires this means Ford is expecting even the less equipped expedition to be able to tackle dirt roads on a daily basis we like that way of thinking when manufacturers don't make you buy a more expensive off-road trim just so that you can safely take your car on various dirt roads around the countryside expected power trends by the looks of that camouflage drear of the car internal combustion power should be standard which comes at no surprise although the word hybrid has been uttered by various people the safest assumption is that the new expedition will get the same three halves liter twin turbocharged echo boost v6 connected to a 10-speed automatic with rear wheel drive as standard and all-wheel drive optional or something very similar to that the current version delivers 380 horsepower and bash trim and 400 ponies in the limited model a higher output version known as the timber line is also available together with the limited and the stealth performance package that version of the expedition gets 440 horsepower and 510 lound feet of torque it's possible that the 2025 expedition gain gains a bit more power than these various sources talk about the base output rising from 380 horsepower and 470 pounds feet to 400 horsepower and 480 pounds feet of torque some even dream of the basic trim going all the way to the 440 horsepower delivered in the current expedition timber line but if you ask us that is highly unlikely ideally for or tries some magical engineering and tuning that can also improve the fuel economy of the expedition model currently the 2024 version gets 17 or 23 mp gallon on the city or highway at best but some owners complain that in real
world conditions the fuel economy is much worse than that that's why a hybrid version would make a lot of sense ford already has a successful 430 horsepower hybrid power rain in their lineup the newly revamped f-150 gets a three and one half liter twin turbo v6 with an electric motor that can do 23 or more mp gallon in the city and highway driving they could put that on the expedition as well additionally ford might plan to launch an all-electric expedition in a few years various sources indicate that the LL expedition should be a totally separate model from its gas-powered counterpart the two models are anticipated to coexist until the gas sibling will phase out eventually if we think about the all electric f-150 lightning a battery powered expedition with dual motor all-wheel drive setup doesn't sound too far-fetched it could give 320 me of range depending on the specification however we shouldn't expect an all-electric expedition until 2026 or 27 Ford Blue Cruise the new expedition will probably also get Ford's newest Blue Cruise semi-autonomous driving technology Blue Cruise allows for hands-free driving across a vast array of roads throughout the US and Canada initially launched on Ford devs and later extended to certain gas-powered models Blue Crew version 1.2 now includes technology such as lane change assist predictive speed assist and in-lane repositioning lane change assist semi automatic automatically changes lanes on the highway with a simple turn signal tap from the driver predictive speed assist automatically adjusts the car's speed for curves and speed limit changes while in lane repositioning automatically shifts the car within its lane to provide extra space when passing large vehicles or those close to lane markers blue cruise is likely to be an optional feature for the entry level trims while the higher end models might have it included as standard we should however expect all 2025 expedition models to be outfitted with essential driver assist features including automatic emergency braking blind spot monitoring land keeping assistance and adaptive cruise control ensuring a safer and more comfortable driving experience exclusive of interior details revealed last month newly surfaced camouflage pictures revealed a serious interior revamp for the upcoming 2025 expedition from what we can see the cockpit will receive a complete remake featuring a huge pillar to par screen additionally another screen will be positioned in the center stack nestled between the hack vents much like you'd find in the 2024 Lincoln Nautilus the Nautilus is the first to roll out with Ford's newest Android based infotainment system dubbed digital experience that is a very dull name if you ask us anyways and the Lincoln the infotainment system is rendered across a gorgeous 48 inch screen spanning almost the full width of the dashboard although the 2025 Ford Explorer will use the digital experience system without the panoramic screen it appears the Expedition will adopt the same setup as the Nautilus and that is good news who doesn't love a pillar to par display these days however in the Nautilus the full width display is not touch responsive it's only the smaller display in the center that serves as a touch screen control center for the bigger panel above from what we could see the Expedition should feature the same no touch full width display in combination with a smaller touch screen in the center even so the whole dash board looks very futuristic and high-end and we think it would become a big selling point for the 2025 expedition the air vents look like they've received a redesign as well although the physical buttons that used to control the climate control have been moved to the central screen or maybe these changes will only apply to the models that will be equipped with the big screen overall the interior of the 2025 expedition looks a lot like what we've seen in the newly refreshed Explorer the new expedition will